Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today I thought we'd talk about poke face. First I'll create a polygon cube or any polygon shape really. I'll just right click, choose faces as my uh, component selection. Choose a face, go to edit mesh, poke face. I'll go in the options here and make sure that my settings are reset to their defaults face and you'll see that what it does is it creates a vertex by creating triangles and just diagonal cuts from the corners of the face and the uh, where the cuts intersect you have a new vertex which you can then use this arrow to push and pull What this button does is it switches from world and local space. So right now this is local. So you'll see that, oops, that my handle here, the up arrow is blue, indicating the Z axis. X is going this way, which is actually in line with the world. You can see down here. But the Z and Y are flipped 90 degrees from the world axis. So when I click this button, it switches to the world axis, which is in line with what you see down in the bottom corner here. So Z is heading this direction and Y is going up like it normally is. Otherwise, the handle still works the same. It just changes the uh, position back to where the face started and aligns the handles with the world. One reason why that might be important is, let me undo all this. If my cube had been rotated or to be offset from the world and then I choose this face edit mesh poke you see that my gizmo is aligned with the object but if I want to align it with the world I can click this button and then the gizmo is now aligned with the world so I can get these directions precisely where I want them to be. Over here in the channel box you'll see our history item that's created from using polypoke poly which is edit mesh poke face. And you can see I've already done some changes. If I undo and create a new poke, edit mesh poke face, all these uh, translates are zeroed out and you can choose one say and the difference is obviously this bottom three are local translate the top three which don't say local are our world translate so if you don't want to have to mess with clicking this button and moving arrows around you could simply select a channel say local translate y middle mouse click and drag in the world and it will adjust like this and since our local translate oops if i a Y is going left and right like this. That's why whenever I use local translate Y, it went left and right. Local translate Z goes up and down. However, world translate Y goes up and down because in the world, Y is going up. Let's look at the options real quick. Poke face options. Not many options here, but you have vertex offset in these three boxes, which indicate X, Y, and Z. So if I know that I want to poke, poke this face and move that vertex in the Y direction, one unit, and hit apply, then it'll automatically move that vertex up. I don't have to do it myself manually. And over here in the channel, you see that number here, translate Y, is already 1 and you can make adjustments as needed. And that was using polygon poke face, edit, sorry, edit mesh poke face. If you have any uh, comments, suggestions for future commands to go over, please let me know. Thanks for watching and uh, hope you like it.